Hey everyone, what's going on? Thank you so much for taking your own time out to check out this movie review. Whether you are brand new here to the channel or whether you're returning to the channel, once again, I'm Mike from the channel Did You See That? And I've got to give a big special thank you to the awesome folks over at Gravitas Ventures for giving me an early screener to a movie that's going to be hitting select theatres and on video on demand on February 25th. And that movie is called I'll find you and the poster itself seemed like it was going to be kind of like a slower burn romantic wartime movie so I knew kind of what I was going into before getting into it so before we go into that the director of this movie is a lady called Martha Coolidge if I pronounced her name correctly and when I've checked up on her past material she's done a lot of TV work that I'm unfamiliar with but I have heard of two movies that she's done called The Prince and Me and Material Girls now I've never seen either of those movies I've also got to say that the cinematographer is Alexander Gruzinski and we've also got a music composer of Jan E.P. Kazmarek. So I'm sorry if I've got any of these names wrong. So the cast of I'll Find You also includes Stellan Skarsgård, Stephen Dorff, Connie Nielsen, Adelaide Clemens and Leo Suter. And the plot of I'll Find You, if you're not too sure what the movie is all around, is it's based in the 1930s where two young lovers, Robert, who's a Catholic opera singer, and Rachel, a Jewish violin virtuoso, dream that one day that they're going to perform together at the legendary Carnegie Hall. However, when they're torn apart by the German invasion of Poland, Robert vows to find Rachel no matter what. So let's just dive straight into my positives of I'll Find You. Definitely the cast definitely hold this movie up and help elevate this script, especially Leo Suter and Adelaide Clemens, who plays Robert and Rachel. Because throughout the movie, and especially how they've got two different religious backgrounds, it makes for that kind of more compelling story where you're like, right, okay, well, these are on two different religions. It's in the 1930s. It's maybe not as open as it is nowadays. And they kind of forbid that, you know, unless you're the same religion as that other person, especially like the parents and families, they're really resentful of that and they're like, no, you, you are not going to do that, you know. So you've got that interesting element to this movie to start with. But then you've also got the fact that in this meantime, there's a war going on and Germany's going to invade Poland. So you're like, right, okay. So these two lovers are kind of crossed between their own feelings, their families, then also this wartime setting. So straight away, you've got these definitely a lot of unusual elements where they have to kind of battle against the odds. So it's obviously going to make for more of an intriguing movie because you're going to be like, right, well, how are they all going to overcome all of this? Or are they not? And definitely the addition of Stellan Skarsgård helps elevate this movie because he plays a character called Benno Morso, who is this opera trained teacher who originally casts Leo Suter and sees his opera talent to start with. And he's like, wow when you get older certainly approach me and you're going to get a position in my school or college and yeah that does end up happening as he grows older because this period piece also dip dives into the past and then into the present so we get a little bit of backstory about the rich history of our characters and how their situation is kind of enveloped into the present day and where that is going to lead to and i've got to really also praise two main components in here you've got the costume department and that helps sell you on the fact that this movie was shot in around 2017 to 2019 i believe and it's set in the 1930s so it helps you try to kind of transport back to that time to an extent and then you've got the composer who is jan ap kazmarek if i pronounce that correctly who's worked on a lot of movies whether it's been a war movies whether it's been a drama a kind of slower burn rom-com movie so he's got a lot of experience with composing and his music is done beautifully throughout this movie and our actors and actresses who are also singing and performing do a fantastic job they've got brilliant voices they've got very lot of skills when it comes to playing even an instrument so again that music factor and the, the score for this movie really helps again buy into that 1930s feels one of the biggest negatives I've got to say with this movie, moving on to my negatives now, is the cinematography at times. Although this is set in 1930s, it looks really like crystal clear 4K imagery. And I'm like, well, it's in 1930s. And I felt like they maybe could have done with the cinematography. Maybe having like a lens over the camera 
to kind of give it that kind of greenier feel to make you kind of teleported fully back into it. Because at times I felt like I was getting transported to the 1930s, but then at times I felt like, well, I kind of feel like in modern days and it took me a little bit out of the story, which was unfortunate. And there is a little bit of elements where it is a slow burn movie to start with. So of course it's going to have those elements, but at times I felt like it kind of slowed down a bit too much. Then it was trying to pick itself back up. And yet the pace I felt like kind of faulted at odd little times. So with my overall thoughts of I'll Find You, I generally think that you are going to have a good time with this movie if you like war kind of period pieces in general. I think you will find some enjoyment of that. If you like kind of just a nice relaxing musical score soundtrack, you will also like this as well because it certainly has those elements to it. It's certainly a nice romance love story as well. So again, if you're a fan of any of those, I think you'll find enjoyment in this. But if you are kind of selective on the timepieces and sometimes, again, with the cinematography and some of the negatives I mentioned before, if that might be how you feel in some movies you've seen previously, then maybe this one might not be for you. I'll Find You is coming out in theatres and on video on demand on February 25th and you can check it out then if you really want to go check out this movie and if you do, leave any and all your comments below. But in the meantime, my overall score for I'll Find You is... So if you've enjoyed this review, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And until the next time that I see you, I'll be seeing you later.